I'm Sir Tap Tap, and this is She Remembered Caterpillars. I remember caterpillars. Do you remember caterpillars? I hope you do. This game refers to itself as a color matching game with an unsettling fungi punk aesthetic, which is my favorite kind of aesthetic. <clears throat> and then at last, Mother of Mold, the Hound of Nine Names, and the Quiet came to an agreement. The Mother would guard the earth and all the things that slept beneath the soil. The Hound scarred. The hound, the scarred plains, and the heart-eaten, heat-eaten mountains. I can't words today. And quiet would rule the spaces between breaths, the seconds between thoughts. The Book of the Nine. So this is a little puzzle game. It's kind of, uh, starts off with your basic color matching stuff. It's kind of got this, uh... I don't know if you want to call it post-apocalyptic. I haven't really finished. I just kind of played a bit, just to, you know, get a feel for it. But it's got this interesting stuff going on. Real sunshine? But this is real sunshine, dar- Oh, fine. It wasn't color, I can tell you that. Not white, not gold. It was a texture. A taste. So basically the way the game works is... Oh, we can't go on those bridges because we're red. The bridges, they don't like us. And same for this. Imagine... Imagine if caterpillars hated you so much they were willing to split their frickin' bodies in half just to spite you. That's- that's some intense hatred, that's... That's passionate. Anyway. You just gotta find your way to get all of your little dudes over onto the, the little things. When humanity cried out in their hunger, the mother of mold answered. She gave them the flesh of her children, the meat of her young. And humanity ravenous took them into their teeth and their lungs. The mother saw it, and it was good. Please don't get meat in your lungs. I don't think that's I don't think that's good for you. So now there's purple ones. Purple ones can go on both bridges. So just put you there, put you there. There we go. I really love the uh, the uh, the art style and the the general the creepy cave with like fungus plant stuff. I think fungi are un underrepresented in games. They're they're pretty cool stuff. What did sunlight taste like, Papa? It's not actually a... But you said it was a taste, darling. It was a metaphor. Kids. Kids these days, they don't understand metaphors. So, oh wait. You are active. Oh. So, purple ones. Block both, actually. They'll only allow the purple ones over. So this guy's trapped here, so he just needs to go there. This guy can go here. This guy should just go here. And since the purple one can go through all of them, we just put it right there. As you might expect for basically any puzzle game ever, the first world's sort of a tutorial to get you on board with all the mechanics, but it, it ramps up pretty quickly once you get a taste of everything. One, two, three, four. The hound is standing at the door. Five, six, seven, eight. Hurry to your little beds. The hound will eat those who are late. The hound seems like a mean dude. Oh, so this is blue, so we should go through it, right? Oh. So basically, there's a difference between bridges, which you can go across if you're that color, and walls, which you can't go through if you're that color. And if you can guess that the next level will teach us whether purple can go through those, you'd be right. Papa, is it true that you'll die one day? I... Where did... Yes, yes, I'm afraid so. It's not such a bad thing. If no one died, there would be no room for anyone new. I don't care. I don't want new people. I want you and Mama and... Shh, darling. Shh. I'm not usually a huge fan of reading all of the words, but I guess it depends on the game. And it depends what people want. I, I think for a game like this, there's not really a great deal of words. And the words are... Oh. So if you do make a mistake, you're not stuck, like, just because you put one on there. It turns out this guy's trapped, so we're just gonna do that. Um, you're trapped. Did I do something wrong here? Do something weird? I didn't think you could get in a situation where you'd have to reset.
What's funny is I, I did this puzzle before and I did not get stuck. I'm not entirely sure how I managed to unfigure out the puzzle. I'm totally stuck. Oh, oh, I'm stupid. Never mind. I forgot what I just told you about the walls. So we can go through it. Never mind. It's all fine. Yeah, I don't think you can get stuck in this game. I don't think there's anything permanent you can do. You can still reset. But at least as far as the mechanics I've seen, um, I don't think you can get stuck. Which I think is a good quality for a puzzle game. I've never been a big fan of... Or at least if you're going to make puzzles where you can get stuck, I think the game should indicate pretty strongly when you do get an unwinnable situation. There is no shame in tears. Not that I would have tears when I, you know, get stuck in an unwinnable situation in puzzles. No, no, no. Alright. Ah, here we go. So purples can go through everything, right? Oh! Nope. Actually, they get blocked by both walls. As you can see, our numbers are ramping up pretty significantly here. Oh, right. I want you to go through. No. No. They do not automatically pathfind the best possible way, since that would kind of give away the puzzle in some cases, so... They kind of just try to take the shortest route, even if that means they get blocked. Uh, hang on, I think you actually need to go here. I try to start with the, um, the least common colors. Like, this is the only... He's the only one that can get into here. And, uh, you can reach that one. You can reach that one. Oh, wait. No, you need to go here, actually. There we go. I like the little hints of civilization or whatever, the little buildings. Now we're in Act 2, and there's a weird freaking UFO thing. Stop, I told you, I'm not giving up. So this is pretty much where I stopped playing before. I just wanted to get a little bit of a feel of it. For puzzle games, I think you should at least kind of know what you're doing. I still expect to get stuck, but... Uh, cute, aren't they? Nadir called them gammies. Gammies? Genetically altered micro microcaryotes. Oh, uh, I can see why. <laughs> to merge characters, select one and right-click on another. Right click again to split them apart. Oh, neat! So that's where purple ones come from. I guess that's why they have two nub jewels, isn't it? And now we have to split apart, so you can go there, and you can go there. Okay. And once again, that's a reversible thing, so you wouldn't get completely stuck. I'm not entirely opposed to puzzle games where, you know, things can happen to get you totally stuck and you have to reset, but I'm not a big fan of it. Like, Monument Valley never does that to you. I really liked Monument Valley. I should do a video of that, I guess, sometime, right? Monument Valley 2 is finally coming out for Android. I mean, it hasn't been incredibly long, but uh, it came on iOS first. Look, you can see where the fungus has penetrated the cerebral tissue. If we pare down the mold, we might just be able to... Getting a little grim, are we? Save me. Uh, put you. Excuse you. Oh, I am active. The one that's standing up is active. I don't know why I had problems with that. So we got escort our little buddies that split out. And you can go through there. And you can go through there. The cerebral tissue stuff going on. You have to understand, it's not a question about worth. I know he wasn't a good father, I know, but love doesn't need a reason. If you think about it, very often love exists despite of it. I kind of like when puzzle games have a mystery to them of some sort. Take it the 
red one needs to go there so I can help. Wait, what am I doing? You merge, and I'll drop off. Achievements for being stuck, which is the best kind of achievement. Okay, so I have to escort one. I have to escort one here. Oh, not that one. I have to escort this one first, because I have to be purple when I split into those two. Uh, you can come over here. Alright, I got it. I like when a puzzle game has a little bit of a story to keep you going. I, like I said before, I'm not the hugest fan of puzzle games because I'm a programmer, so it kind of feels like work because I it basically solve puzzles all day. Um, and that's enjoyable in a way, but it, it just kind of has the result of making puzzle games feel a bit more like work than I would care for. No readings, nothing. I'm so sorry. Maybe it's time we... No. So we've got some, some coma stuff going on or something here. I, I've actually been aware of this for a while. I, I'm i super late to the party as I usually am. But, uh... Hmm. We, I need to get you... Both are blues. Hmm. I need to have both blues get through this gate. Pillars, I guess. They're pretty cute. Alright, so with the red one, merge with you. Wait a minute. I think you can go all the way over there, right? Yes! Okay, so I just put blue one here. Oh, wait, no. I put red one there. And you go all the way out. I tend to be a big fan of puzzle games that go a bit beyond, you know, just puzzle. I like the art style and having something to work towards. Not necessarily a story, but um, I guess usually a story, but um, I don't know, some feeling of progression. I guess it's kind of hard to give a feeling of progression, except in a way other than difficulty in a puzzle game. I guess some puzzle games give you more, like, abilities. Talk to him. What for? I don't know. It might jog some higher brain functions or something. But I... You spend a lifetime pretending you don't want to. Isn't it time to stop? So I kind of figured we we're talking about, you know, with the hound and stuff. We we're talking about these little wacky caterpillar friends. But we seem to have some human stuff going on too. Human stuff. I like it. So we need to escort all of them up to here. I only have one red one. There. So, blue one. Wait. Wait, no, I can still get to here. Get you there. Uh, merge you. Drop off that 
blue one. I'm basically blue daycare here. So how do I get... Uh, I better move this one before I get too crazy here. Oh, wait. How the heck do I rescue this one? Alright, got it. Like I said, it gets tricky reasonably quickly. Let's leave out. There we go. Not too bad. How many more in Act 2? I was kind of hoping to finish two acts. Oh, we just finished Act 2. We'll take a quick peek at Act 3, and I think we'll call it a, call it a thing. Do you remember the caterpillars in the garden? They were green and small, and you said if we followed them, we'd find the sun. I don't want to show you too much of me getting stuck on puzzles, but... Uh... You know what the problem with growing up is? Realizing that your parents were just humans. Oof. That does kind of... Oh, we're orange now. How does red? Oh, oh, there's a blue. Okay, I did not see the blue. I see. We can be a green alien. I don't know why I left you here. There we go. So. Actually, I should have left him there. I have no need for him. I like they have shapes too, that's a nice, um, I didn't mention that before, but by having shapes, so this game is like kind of, you know, color based, but it's also shape based, but blue is circles, yellow is triangles, that means it's colorblind friendly, even though it, uh, hang on now. Wait, what do I do with this one? But yeah, by having shapes or, you know, something other than just colors, um, that kind of allows you to do... Uh, do, I need, do I need red? Would red help me with this? I don't know how I can split. Because then you're kind of stuck here. Would red help me at all? I don't think it would. I'll 
rescue him. Just in case, I guess. Caterpillars remind me of worms. I think like there's certain kinds of worms that if you cut in half, they just they become two more worms. Red even help me do. Red helps me do nothing. Why? Why the red? Maybe if I ditch red early, I ditch red here, I can do more work. Right? Because there's two. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. I was right. It's red is the. Oh. Red is the problem here. So I can drop you off, and you can go all the way over there. Okay. Not as hard as I was making it. I just figured I should abandon Red, but you should never think the obvious thing. The obvious thing never makes for a very good puzzle, does it? You were so very, very many things. A wrong choice, a liar, a jumble of hopes and dreams and bad decisions. I feel called out. And a father. You were my father, too. No, oh, I don't feel called out anymore. Just two? Oh, three. Okay. I think I'm just gonna do this one more. So this guy needs immediate rescue. Uh... Because I have to get the... I have to get blue... Blue has to go here, because he can't go to either of those two. So this one needs to get rescued. You can't go through both. So I need blue and triangle man. Triangle man, triangle man. And you? Oh. It feels very easy compared to the last one. But the last one probably wasn't meant to be as easy. So I was making oh oh it is in fact slightly more difficult. Um, interesting. What if I put no that won't work. Never mind. This is not as easy as I thought it was. Um. Yellow one isn't still isn't very wait. If I just put yellow one here, this would be easier. Split you out. Let's try putting yellow one here. There we go. I kinda like when when obviously you can have a colorblind mode, uh, but I kinda like when when the colorblind feature is just kind of built in inherently. Did this, did this help me at all? Yes, it did! Okay, I see now. Uh, yeah, I kind of like how just the shapes are just built in. See, there's no colorblind mode to turn on. It's just automatically there, and it doesn't... You know, it doesn't have any... It's one of those kind of things where you can implement an accessibility option without really needing it to be an option, because it doesn't have any negative impact on people that don't need it. It's, you know, it's just another... It just makes it even more clear, even for people with, you know... Full color vision. You have no idea how many nights I'd spent turning Im imaginary conversations around in my head, hoping, hoping it all clicked together. And I'd figure out the words to say. I could tell you why. I'd stop talking to you and. 
If I don't split here, I'm gonna do like the whole game in one video. So I'm gonna split here. I think I'm gonna keep playing this though. Purple wall. How does that look? Does it only block purple? I guess it does. Wait, but does it block blue too, or? Well, we'll see uh, once we do the next video.